Welcome to another Rail Fan Dan production. Enjoy this short intro. This is another very special video featuring the Santa Maria Valley No. 205 steam locomotive of the Albany and Eastern Railroad pulling actual revenue freight on its own from Lebanon to Mill City, Oregon and back. It also includes some very rare switching of revenue freight as well. We are on the Albany and Eastern Railroad today for something very special, starting off in Lebanon, Oregon at Hansard Avenue. Just for fun, and for the benefit of some rail fans, the Albany and Eastern decided to use their steam locomotive Santa Maria Valley No. 205 on their train to Mill City, Oregon. They are now putting their train together on the west side of town. I want to get some info out there right off the bat. Drones do not record audio at this point in time. If they did, then you would only hear the buzzing of the propellers, so unfortunately there is no native audio to go with the drone footage here. However, I was able to pull some audio from the ground and match it with some of the drone footage throughout the video, but not for the whole thing. I don't feel that I have enough audio of the 205 to match the sound for the whole video well enough. There were quite a number of rail fans out for this event today as you will see throughout the video, some of which I can call my friends. I also know a couple of the crew members and they didn't mind that I was flying around getting video of them working. Another special part of this run is the Southern Pacific Caboose on the rear of the train. They used it for the whole day. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with new videos. Now underway on the east side of Lebanon at the trestle over the South Santiam River. I tried to get as much ground footage as possible for the sake of the audio, even using two ground cameras at some locations. Now north, or railroad east of Lebanon getting some good track speed. Most of this video will be slow 10 mph running, so enjoy the short portion of this quicker track speed. This site gives us a pretty good perspective of how much larger railroad equipment has become over the years. These 60-foot boxcars make the 205 look pretty small. This 99-year-old steam locomotive was built in 1924 by Baldwin Locomotive Works for the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad and operated there until 1933. It was then sold to the Santa Maria Valley Railroad and moved to Santa Maria, California where it operated until 1950. 
After a 38-year restoration, it was finally back to operating status in 2021. It had been 71 years since 205 had seen operation. Shortly after restoration, it was sold to the Albany and Eastern Railroad. It is mainly used for their Santiam excursion train rides and is extremely well cared for. Now at the railroad location of Griggs, which doesn't appear on all maps, it is a little south of Crabtree, Oregon. Just west of Crabtree now, Somewhere in history, 205 was nicknamed Porky. If you look closely, you can see a little pig on top of the headlight, which has become a staple when 205 comes out to run. Now east of Crabtree and coming up to the Gilkey Covered Bridge, the chase slows down now for the rest of the day. Here they cross Thomas Creek and parallel the Gilkey Covered Bridge. Many rail fans were at this location. This caboose was built in 1980 for the Southern Pacific. It was owned by the SP, then the Willamette Valley Railroad, and now the Albany and Eastern. Now passing through West Sio, Oregon.
slowly continuing east, just about to pass through Shelburne. An old water tower can be seen just behind the trees here, and if you look close, you'll see another drone pass into the foreground. This was another rail fan I know who was out here for the day filming the action. Here they are again crossing State and Sio Road. Now at Kingston where they are pulling up about a 1% grade. This resulted in a bit of a chugging sound which I am glad I could add to the drone video. About three miles west of Lyons now, along Substation Drive.
most of the rail fan brigade was here. Following the train during this whole run was a water tank truck which was used for fire prevention. Summers in the Pacific Northwest are now notorious for wildfires, and now even railroads take their own precautions for this where they can. It's great to see them staying ahead of the game. Approaching Lions now where they will do a bit of switching. The Mill City job is usually ran about twice a week. Normally they use their GP35 number 2501 for power. That giant crane in the distance is part of Freris Lumber. Here at Lyons, they will drop the three boxcars and pick up one center beam to bring to Mill City. The switching during this day could be considered the most rare sight we see. I never imagined I would witness steam power switching out revenue freight in 2023. We will see some more of this in Mill City.
Many rail fans were at this location as well to capture the switching action, including the master behind Seven Idea Productions. He too has posted his own great take on this day, and I have put the link to his video in the description. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Now underway again and on the final stretch to Mill City. Approaching Fox Valley, Oregon now.
This neat little cut along the right of way was a very last minute choice for me and one others seemed to choose as well. Just barely west of Mill City now. Now at the final destination of Mill City, the Albany and Eastern has two customers here, one of Freres Lumber's plywood plants and Frank Lumber. Today they are just servicing Frank Lumber. There is much transitioning back and forth between the ground camera and the drone during this switching operation. They will switch out a loaded center beam for this empty one and then head back the other direction. I'll be silent and just let the footage play out. Enjoy this rare bit of revenue freight switching.
With the switching completed, they will now begin their journey back to Lebanon. Back at that same cut just west of Mill City. Another shot at Lions again. This is our last shot of the day once again along Substation Drive just west of Lyons. It's still a couple hours back to Lebanon, but this was where I had to call it quits for the day. I hope you all enjoyed if you've made it to the end. 
Man, what a super fun experience and how honored I feel to have been told about this ahead of time. Most definitely capturing history in motion.